hello guys tonight we are going to learn how to design the p logo so let's quickly launch our easel app then we double tap on the new test icon here then we insert our p now let's quickly come down here and search for test size so let's enlarge the test let's enlarge our p nice so let's quickly move and look at the fonts and the star so let's tap on bold bold okay now let's quickly go back again and select the font the font select any font of your choice select any font of your choice so this is the font i prefer to use so let's quickly go back to shapes let's quickly go back to shapes okay let's select this shape let's select this particular shape we crop it crop it well so you copy it copy the 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 shape there copy yes so you see so you move it here move it here then you crop it a bit crop it a bit then you tap on position and position it well position it well so let's bring it down let's bring it down let's do some quick work on it first okay so let's copy the first one again let's place it here i want to crop it a bit crop it a bit and position it well position it well push this one to nearer to the p good so what we are going to do now is we are going to blend to image the three we are going to image the three but before then let's position this one well before we blend or we merge the three okay so let's quickly tap on this particular icon here at the right hand top corner so let's come down here so we merge the three please take a look at this thing very well watch it very well okay then we tap on these two arrows here to merge are you sure you want to merge the selected objects okay so here we are we can move all of them at a go okay let's quickly go to 3d shapes let's go to 3d shapes this is where we are going to do our necessary settings okay please watch it carefully watch it carefully okay 
So let's go to shadow. Okay. Now, before we continue, let's go to background. Background. So select from gallery. Select from gallery. So this is the background that I'm going to use. This particular color here. So it's the background I'm going to use. Okay. So let's quickly come down here. Click on this particular icon and locate uh okay sorry let's come back here let's come back to the a okay let's move to the center one then let's locate 3d shapes again so this is 3d shape let's tap on the 3d shape okay so let's tap on the okay sign then let's locate shadow shadow so let let's select the color black as our shadow color offset okay so let's tap on the okay sign now let's come to the inner shadow the inner shadow the inner shadow okay so let's tap on okay let's quickly go to stroke we have stroke here the stroke is here so let's quickly tap on the scroll the, the stroke and enable it Okay, so let's select our color here for the stroke. Let's select our color for the stroke. For the purpose of this design, I'm going to use this color for now. So here we are. Here we are. Okay. So again, let's quickly move to this place here, the blur radius. Let's reduce it small. Yeah. So let's quickly come to the top here. To save our work either as project or image so I'm going to save my work as image please make sure you select default uh, uh, ultra make sure you select ultra when you are going to save your work because that one will give you the correct quality that you want all right, so let's patiently wait for our work to be saved. All right, guys, thank you for watching these tutorials.